Hello YouTubers, Parkinson's Travelers, Shakes McBakes, otherwise known as Jamie, or Sugar, if you will. Um, welcome to the channel, Shaking Bake with Parkinson's. So, watching some YouTube recently and saw a blast in the past, someone that, man, I miss so much. One of the greatest actors I've ever seen. One of the most comedic, funniest guys I've ever seen, and it popped up on a commercial. And that's what inspires this bake. And uh, it's Rick Moranis. Uh, you know, I haven't seen him in so long. You know, he left acting, I take care of his family. And um, I got to thinking about some of the amazing movies he was being in, the Ghostbusters, and of course, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And that's what has inspired this bake. Because today, I'm gonna bake a giant oatmeal cookie, a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids size oatmeal cookie. This thing is going to be the size of a small child. And it is going to be delicious, and it is going to be so much fun. Now, this giant oatmeal cookie, it is, comes from a cookbook that was a, a gift to my wife. This cookbook has recipes inspired by culture, inspired by TV shows, inspired by movies, inspired by graphic novels, inspired by video games. Unbelievable. I highly recommend going to pick up this book. I'm gonna put a link to it down in the comments. So please pick up this book. Also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that little bell sitting next to it so you'll get notifications of when my next bake goes live and is on YouTube. So please subscribe below if you like the channel because every week I'm gonna cook a different recipe, some from my own collection, some from other people's cookbooks. If you have an idea you wanna see me bake, please put it in the comments. Tell me some ideas of what you got, send it to me. I'd love to put it on this channel. Let's get started baking. Okay, so we've got our stand mixer ready to go, making giant oatmeal cookies. This is gonna be a lot of fun. First thing we're gonna do, got the recipe. Recipe's in the book down there, so you, I've got all my ingredients already ready to go. I've got softened butter, so that's a little beforehand. I've got eggs that are room temperature, that's beforehand. Everything else already divided. I've got my cupcake holders with my baking powder, my baking soda, my salt, everything like that. Everything else is divided up into bowls. Um, so with that, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a bowl, which has three and a half cups of flour in it. I'm gonna add to it old fashioned oats, cause it's an oatmeal cookie, y'all. Then I'm gonna add my baking powder and cornstarch. Put all those in there. We've got some left out in there. My salt. Woo, there goes dropping stuff. My cinnamon and my nutmeg. So all of that is gonna go into this bowl and I'm gonna just give it a stir around. I'm gonna grab my whisk, kind of mix everything up a little bit. Make sure it's good to go. Okay, so I've got all of that mixed up together. So now, in my stand mixer, I've got four sticks of butter. That is softened, firm temperature butter. You know, you can leave it sitting out if you know you're gonna bake this. Otherwise, the way I brought this uh, butter up, I stuck all four of these sticks in the microwave for about 25 seconds on the power of six. And that gave me some good room temperature butter. All right, so now I'm going to do, I'm gonna cream the butter. Okay, now I'm gonna take a spatula, just gonna scrape the sides of this bowl, get to make sure all the butter's down off the side of the bowl. Cause now I'm gonna add my sugar and the molasses. Okay, so let's see, you've got my sugar. My sugar, if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen that, I introduced myself as sugar. That is a name given to me by Mr. Martin Juarez from PD Fight Club and Juarez Boxing over in Irondale, Alabama. You can look him up online. He is a trainer for PD Fight Club. So that's a boxing class that we take, which uh, helps us with our small movements, helps us with large movements, makes covers us in sweat. Really great workout. If you have a boxing class near you or in your neighborhood, you might want to check that out as far as uh, with Parkinson's. It is the greatest therapy, other than baking, of course, 
that I have ever been a part of. So I highly recommend find you something out there. So now the molasses goes in. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this recipe at Christmas time. That could be a fun bake for everybody. So get the molasses in there. If you've never cooked with molasses, let me tell you something. It's all the sticky you need right there. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna cream this butter. Just start off kinda of slow. Do this, get this good and mixed up until it's nice and fluffy. It's pretty fluffy right there. Again, just gonna scrape down the sides just to make sure everything's good and mixed. I'm gonna add my vanilla in, a couple teaspoons of vanilla. Ooh, a little shake right there. So we're gonna get a little extra vanilla in that one. Be just fine. Okay, I have three eggs, room temperature. I'm gonna incorporate these eggs one at a time. Give that a quick stir. One at a time, and then I'm gonna make sure they're completely mixed up before I add the next egg. So there's one. Mix it just until you see the yolk go away. And you'll see it mix up, and then boom, yolk's gone. So now I'm gonna add the second egg, same thing. those days when your medicine just don't seem to work as well on the trimmer, having one of those days. All right, so that is all good and incorporated. So what I'm gonna do again, I'll stop the mixer. Again, I'm just mixing it, just kind of make sure everything's very combined because sometimes it gets stuck on the side, stuck on the bottom. Just scraping the, scraping the mixer off, make sure all those yolks or eggs are good and combined in there, which that looks pretty dang good. All right, so that's pretty good setup right there. All right, so now when we mix in all the dry ingredients, we, we combined all the dry ingredients, I'm gonna add this really slow. I'm gonna get it started a little bit at a time. I'm gonna probably do it in three different sections. Mixer on low, maybe two, because if you hit this thing to A right now, ninja dust everywhere. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more while the mixer's running, just a little bit at a time. Then once this is combined to stop, don't wanna overmix this. It's gonna be a really thick dough, very thick. I'm getting there. I just wanna make sure nothing's dry down in there. All right, see I missed that some. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Got it everywhere, didn't I? Let me tell you, this dough is thick. Thick dough. How great was that movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Great, Miss Rick Moranis. If you have any foods that are from any movies or TV shows you like, you want to see me try and recreate, leave me a comment down there. That might be fun. Okay, so two pizza pans with parchment paper on them. I'm going to divide this dough in half, roughly in half. Basically, I can take my spatula, cut down the middle of the dough. So we won't get exact. I could add it up. I'm not going to. I'm just going to try. Eyeball it. I know how much, I can see how much is in the mixer. I'm taking half of it and putting it over here. And then I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so I've got my two discs. They're going to go in the oven, which I have set at 350. They're going to go in there for 10 minutes. Okay, well, these cookies are about ready to come out for the first time. They're going to have to bake another 10 minutes. But before we do that, I'm going to pull the cookies out. I'm going to bang the tray on the counter deflate the cookie and try and create some cracks. You know how oatmeal cream pies cracks through the top of it. I'm gonna to try and recreate that. 
we'll see how it goes. So about another minute and a half, take each tray, I'm gonna do them one at a time. But then I'm also gonna swap the layers on where the cookies are baking. So I'll take them on the bottom, put them on the upper, upper tray, upper tray, go into the bottom tray. Then it's gonna go about 10 more minutes, maybe about eight, I'm gonna start checking them because when the outside of that cookie starts to get brown, a little darker brown, I wanna go ahead and take these cookies out. I don't want a hard cookie, I want it to be soft. Think about an oatmeal cream pie, you want it to be very soft. Now these things have spread out. They're almost the whole size of that tray. So this is exactly what we want. About. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out and do some banging. All right, now I'm gonna shut my door. Oven so I don't let the heat all get out. Okay, this one will go back to the top. That's where it came from, the bottom. And do the other one. I'm just trying to create those cracks in as you. All right. About eight, eight to 10 more minutes. All right, so I'm taking the cookies out. The middle's a little soft, but that's kind of what we want because I want it to be a soft cookie. But the edges just turn brown, so that's that. Those will take a little while to cool. Okay, so we've got the, let the cookies cool. What I've done is I've taken two entire jars of marshmallow fluff and they're in my mixer. Now, part of the marshmallow fluff is also on my person because that's what marshmallow fluff does is get everywhere. But so yummy. So then I have this and I have three sticks of butter. Also room temperature. I'm gonna put this all in here and I'm gonna whip it up till it becomes nice and fluffy. I tried to do this with homemade marshmallows one time. Did not work. I did not have the marshmallow fluff that I needed to have. All right, so that looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna stop the mixer. And this is where, um, speaking to those who are travelers with me, this is where you're just gonna have to deal with making a little bit of a mess. They're probably used to it by now. So I'm gonna add a little bit, a couple cups of it in there and maybe a little bit more. And now I'm gonna start real, real slow, real slow with it. Because again, ninja dust. Go to five, poof, gone. Okay, so that's looking really good. Really good, you see how that's turned out. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla at this point and a little bit of heavy cream. That's gonna make it a little bit more workable. Um, the recipe calls for three um, teaspoons of heavy cream. So that's what I'm gonna start with. I may have to add a little bit more. Let's just see how thin it makes it. I don't want it to be too thin, but this heavy cream will thin it out a little bit. We're just gonna mix that in and you'll see it, it will get a, a lot smoother. Yeah, it's good consistency. It's not runny, but it's not real thick. It's a really good icing. And this is what's gonna go in between the cookies. So we'll get all that off. All right, so I've got my first, first cookie upside down and got all that icing in this piping bag. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pipe it in, put the other cookie on top, and there we go. Giant oatmeal cream pie, inspired by the one Rick Moranis. Another week, another recipe. Remember, as we say, the road may sometimes be shaky, but it will always be tasty. 
Come back next week. Remember, hit the subscribe button down there. If you need more information, there's links down to, at the bottom to uh, find out some more information about the channel, more information about Parkinson's itself. Please, by all means, leave some comments, like, some things you want to see me cook, check them out. See you next week. Thanks.